Daughter of Will and Jada Pickett Smith, who became known for songs such as With My Hair and Fireball, has recently been granted a protection order against an alleged stalker, according to legal documents obtained by TMZ. During Christmas of last year, a man by the name of Walter James Wale was found trespassing on Willow's Los Angeles property. The 20-year-old requested the order against Walter because he was reportedly found trespassing on her Los Angeles property around Christmas 2020. Surveillance footage showed Walter hopping a fence to enter the property and appeared to look for ways to gain interest to her home. Smith reports claim Walter will do whatever possible to make physical contact with her. The report also claimed Smith's security contacted police immediately, but he wasn't arrested at the time time. Officers, however, discovered a Greyhound bus ticket on Walter that indicated he traveled from Oklahoma to Los Angeles a day before. The Red Table Talk show host also reported that Walter had been contacting her on social media before he was found trespassing on her property. She alleged he sent her messages confessing his love and wanted to start a family with a young entertainer. While Walter wasn't taken into custody at the time of the trespassing, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department confirmed earlier this month he was arrested on March 3rd. This incident caused Smith to hire in a private investigator according to TMZ who alleged they discovered Walter was also a convicted offender. Months before this incident happened at her home, Willow Smith's family was shaming the YouTuber Shane Dawson for a resurfaced video doing inappropriate things to her poster when the singer was just 11 years old. Although he apologized for the incident, because yes, I apologize for a lot of them, but I'm 31, almost 32. Those apologies suck. The family I... didn't care for the apology and actions weren't necessarily taken against him for what he did to Willow in particular. What's very upsetting is last December, Smith opened up about coping with extreme anxiety during an episode of Red Table Talk. We had a, a experience four days ago. I was having extreme anxiety. Mm -hmm. I had to just go, I, w I couldn't talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to just cocoon and like just be with myself yeah. for a moment. Yes. And that was so important because it would have been more intense if I was like looking to you to be like, no, help me. Like, yeah. and then when I was ready, open yeah. the cocoon. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. That self-soothing is a miracle work. Yeah. Because <laughs> when you're in that space, it's really hard, I would think, really hard for you to even describe what's going on. There's shame, there's yeah. guilt, there's sadness, there's confusion. And then you don't even want to talk about it because you're like, I, I feel crazy. Yes. Right. I feel crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, and I don't want them to think I'm crazy, so I'm just going to not say anything. Back in 2018, she also revealed a shocking secret about her turning to self-harm to cope. Like, is there anything like that I can do besides this? So with my hair was how long ago? Like she was like nine, nine years old, and that with my hair was a, the hit record that you had out, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Like after the tour and the promotion yeah. and all of that, and it was like they wanted me to finish my album, and I was just like, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then after all of that kind of settled down, and it was like a, a kind of lull. Mm -hmm. Like I was just listening to a lot of. <laughs> dark music and like it was just so crazy and i was just like plunged into this like black hole mm -hmm. and i was like cutting myself what yeah and doing crazy things really when were you cutting yourself i didn't yeah, see that part like a long time ago cutting yourself where on my wrist i mean you can't even see it but like there I just hope this incident doesn't lead her back to those coping mechanisms. This situation shouldn't be taken lightly because we all know protection orders are only a piece of paper. I'm sure her parents are going to help her along the way. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this situation. It's disgusting how these older men are preying on this young girl like this and it seems no one cares, no one is doing anything about it. You guys, again, let me know your thoughts and your opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys and don't don't forget to check on your loved ones.